Hello, I'm J.R. Perry uh, here at Herbage's Hills at the Pantry. Uh, I've been coming here since uh, 2003, I believe, uh, and I volunteer here at the Pantry. Uh, I think the first time I met Martin was uh, probably between two and a half, three years ago. I also volunteer on the Connect team, which I come in early in the morning and help out, you know, just getting the doors opened up, uh, getting our radios for security team. Uh, I'm at the Connect desk majority of the time, and he came in. He was very early. I'm, you, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm usually here around seven in the morning on Sunday, and he came in uh, pretty shortly after that. and. Uh, just got to talking to find out, you know, somewhere after I originally met him that he was technically and theoretically he was homeless. He was living in his vehicle. Like I said, I've been coming here uh, since about, I think it was December, not last year, a year before. And then the tornado hit at that time. On that particular night, I was parked at the Kroger's parking lot up the street on uh, Old Hickory and literally the tornado came through the parking lot while I was there sleeping. But that night, uh, or that day rather, uh, I just, I realized that there was, God's not done with me yet. So, so I started spending a bit more regular time at the church and Ken told me about the, the radical heart thing. And He'd come in and get food and the things he could use. Like I said, the fact that he lives in his car means he could use certain things and certain things he really didn't need. But we tried to always give him what he needed, and occasionally some clothes or whatever, but usually food. And uh, I knew him from up there, and then he's been a regular here at, at the Radical Heart through the food pantry for, for a good two years anyway. At, uh, I just started attending the, the Sunday school class with uh, Steve Hooker and Ken and a couple of the others, and uh, I just, became, literally became the highlight of my week. Because, uh, I mean, it's a great bunch of guys in there. My name is Steve Hooker. I've been teaching a life group for about 10 years now. But we try to, we try to teach, uh, teach the love of Christ and try to get people to develop their faith to where they're unafraid to share their faith, no matter what comes. With Martin, he seemed to really like it right off the bat and just fit right in. Everybody just threw their arms up and said, welcome and come on in and you're part of the group now. And he, I don't think he, the only time he's missed coming is when he was sick. Last September, I had a, a, a gallbladder attack. Anyway, uh, Ken uh, came by to see me almost every day and um, uh, Steve came by to see me five or six times and then uh, John uh, uh, Herod came by to see me three or four times. When I got out of the hospital, I start, uh, actually Ken took me home and I stayed with him for five weeks uh, while I recuperated. I've been basically here well since then. Anyway, one Saturday, Bobby come out, uh, asked me if I'd come in and help with the lights. And uh, so I came in and I think between me and Dan's the other guy that, uh, between he and I, we did like 50 of those can lights in the ceilings. And then Monday, Bobby come and got me again and had me work some more. I think it was Thursday, they asked me if I would just like to work. So I said, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I mean, I had enough money to buy my own food. And of course, from that point forth, I didn't need, I didn't need the Radical Heart. So while the truck was, is still my house, um, I had everything I needed. I'm, I'm unafraid to talk to anybody about Christ. After what he did for me, <laughs> what he did for me, he saved my soul. And it's my job to reach out to anybody else that will come and will listen and help them find their way. I can't save anybody, but I know who can. When I come to the end of my life, and you come by, if you, if you come to my funeral, you come by and you view my body. I'm not there, I'm home. I'm home. And I want people to come by and say, I know where he's at. I know he was a Christian. And if I've helped somebody just a little bit further down the road toward Christ, I've done my job. 
whoever comes into my class, first off, they'll hear the, they'll hear the gospel. Secondly, we're going to talk to them about how to make it real in your own life. And thirdly, we're going to try to help you find your way. And you're going to have some friends in this class that, that will do anything for you that they can. And that's how you love somebody beyond the, beyond the superficial. Because we don't need superficial in this day and age. We need real Christians to stand up and be real Christians. The church has been uh, a great blessing to me in pretty much every way you can imagine. Because it's a, it's a great group of guys. I still look forward to Sunday mornings more than anything else. And I don't think I could consider life normal without having it now. <laughs>